Hi, welcome back to the Losing It podcast, which is normally with Heidi and Nell, but Nell is on holiday. So this week I am joined by the wonderful Abby. Hi, Abby. Hello. It's very Thank exciting. Yeah. So Abby was one of my slimmers and is now a consultant in my team, which is very exciting. Um, she's a consultant extraordinaire. She's very good at it, which is why I recruited her. Um, and <laughs> She had a fantastically successful slimming journey as well. So I can't remember, because we've we've known each other quite a while now. When did you first do the plan with me, Abby? I started mid-November last year. Oh, yes. In that Christmas lead up, I think I had about six weeks pre-Christmas. When I was saying to everyone, just start now, because I also started six weeks before Christmas when I first did plan. (laughs) It was meant to be. (laughs) We found each other in the in the pre-Christmas desperation. (laughs) Yeah, 100 percent. I think I actually remember watching one of your YouTube videos as was back then. And you talked about that lead up to Christmas. Yeah. Um, And you said about, you know, booking an appointment last minute, getting on plan. And I. I think Did. I came off that video and did exactly yeah. that. It was the time. Um, so yeah, it was the best time to start. It was it was amazing and you did really well. Which step did you start on? I started on step one B, and off the top of my head, I think I did it for the 12 weeks that yeah. you can do it in one stretch, and then I'm then I moved it up. I didn't go back down to one B, but I loved it. Loved one yeah. B. And you absolutely smashed it out of the park. And would you say it was worth starting it that six weeks before Christmas? Yes, 100%. I mean, I can't remember what I lost in that time, but it was probably about a stone and a half, I think. And God, I felt a huge difference in that time. Um, I think I went on my work Christmas party about three weeks in, something like that. And yes, I, I remember that. And you sent me pictures in your beautiful oh. dress. And I was like, oh, my God, you look stunning. I know. And that's kind of crazy to think that it was only three-ish weeks in. I think I'd hit a stone. And I felt incredible. But that was only about a third of my weight loss yeah. in the end. But, oh, I felt a huge, huge difference by that. And I think a lot of people would have looked at that six of Christmas, seen that Christmas do and gone, oh, it's not worth doing it, actually. But it just yeah. goes to show even just a few weeks on plan before you hit that, just your confidence was through the roof. I remember you sending me pictures being like, yeah. everyone's noticing. I feel amazing. I'm having the best time. Yeah, it was honestly the best decision because had I not, I'd have probably put more weight on in those three weeks, yeah. carrying on sort of with the habits that I had. Um, so yeah, it was a huge improvement, you know, all the water I was having, all that nutrition, because I was on one B only having the products with so much nutrition in. Yeah. I was yeah. just on a high from them. I think. I think you do get a bit like that. If you do. In a good yeah. way. <laughs> step one B is a mirror placement only step. So it's four mirror placements a day. And each of your mirror placements has on average, a third of your daily vitamins and minerals that the average person needs. And I think one of the upswings of those mirror placement only steps is you just feel so good on them. Don't you? Yeah. Full of energy. I think, you know, my skin was better. My hair was better. It just, yeah, it was, it was strange when you know that you're only getting 800 calories to feel that great. Um, And people look at you like you're crazy. (laughs) (laughs) How are you feeling this good when you're not eating, you know, as much as you were before? But um, yeah, I just felt on an absolute high. Um, And I think that lead up to Christmas, you know, it can seem like there's food everywhere and yeah. how can I say no to all these things but aside from that party I wasn't that social at the time <laughs> so actually when you looked at the calendar and broke it down there wasn't that many food orientated things that I was missing yeah. out on so why not go for it that's it I think when you look at a calendar for like the month ahead especially like going into the summer holidays people are like oh, I've got so much on but actually when you look at the calendar and note down all the days you've got something on and then mm-hmm. think about well could I actually be on plan for that could I step up for that does it even involve food actually because taking yeah. the kids swimming doesn't necessarily involve having a big meal out or anything 
and then going actually there's more opportunity of being on plan for for more days than there are the few things that have coming up that I would generally either have to step up for or come off plan for because it's a wedding or something like that Um, and it makes you realize how big of an opportunity you're missing out on doesn't it yeah totally and even in that period between Christmas and New Year you know I wasn't on plan on Christmas day I enjoyed myself but I think it was Boxing Day you know we were at home the kids were having leftover you know turkey rolls and whatever but I didn't need to there was nobody else around I got back on plan and I, I did that on all the days that we weren't social um and that was absolutely fine but it would be easy to just write it off and say yeah it's Christmas yeah and how much weight did you eventually lose in total I lost three and a half stone in total um which took about four months I think um so yeah from about mid-November through to February March time um and yeah gradually worked up the steps um a couple of weeks on each um and then been maintaining it since then yeah but you are doing so fantastically um and you really did take to heart that kind of the model of making sure you go up the steps staying on that step for long enough to find your feet then increasing your calories slowly and staying in touch with me and we could look at kind of objectively things make tweaks here and there see how it panned out over the weeks do you think that was crucial to you now being able to maintain a lot more easily 100% yeah um even little things like I think this move from step two up to step three can feel bigger and we talked and we did a two and a half and yeah (laughs) that's probably my favorite step of all um kind of having those hybrid steps along the way so that I could take the time to relearn those things um I think there were some steps I moved up and you know an extra 200 calories of conventional food and I'd be messaging you saying I don't know what else to eat yes I, I remember those I, conversations I don't know what to like, add what am I doing and I was like do you remember sauces and you went oh my god yes I could put a marinade on I was like yes you could <laughs> like how about sprinkle of cheese yeah I was like it doesn't have to be like whole foods you can now have all the little extras that make the meal tasty. <laughs> you stop saying, how about an apple? <laughs> what yeah. about a yogurt? You could have a, a snack. Um, but it's those little things that you you take the time over and that's where the lessons come in. And I think that's why I love one B because it stripped back all the noise and all the choices yeah. I had before. And then I got a chance to relearn them. And the, the foods I then introduced... And then the right foods and good choices. And don't get me wrong, there's, there's always stuff at the weekend and that's my maintenance yeah. loss. But yeah, those kind of days of thinking, I don't know what else to add to this meal to make give me more calories because I've actually forgotten. Um, and I think that's the beauty of it because you forget and then you can relearn and you relearn with your consultant. Yeah, I think so. And I think also you were quite diligent because you are quite a diligent person in general and very organized (laughs) I think you were very diligent in like I want to make this work so I want to do it right and I was like there is a balance to be had we don't have to be 100% right or correct we can we can have a little bit of something nice in there and I think it's that is the tricksy uh part of maintenance is relearning that balance again and putting it back in isn't it and you don't have to be too like self-righteous is almost the wrong word but too much like oh I'm never eating that again but at the same time you don't want to go back to completely how you were eating before and I think that's the challenge isn't it finding the balance yeah 100% and it takes time it takes it 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 takes things to crop up sometimes as well like for you know I'm a mum of two so social occasions aren't you know a weekly occurrence in our house but you know as those kind of pub trips uh, meals out date nights don't know what they are but um when they happen you kind of find your feet with that again and then the next day you think that was lovely but yeah I'm back to my comfort zone and my like security of these calories um and I enjoy that now um but it did take a bit of time to learn it I think that's the thing it's it's giving yourself permission to give yourself time because sometimes you have to see the weeks 
play out in that place of balance and see that there will be some weeks where you are eating more or you've gone on holiday and so your eating patterns change and then you're just going to slowly return to this new normal you've built and you're not going to panic and you're not going to cut drastically cut your calories and it's almost yeah. proving to yourself that it does ebb and flow but that's how you maintain the balance and you can kind of see it play out over the weeks but that takes time to be able to see how that works doesn't it yeah and also to see it on the scales yeah. I think at first you don't really trust that that's not gonna skyrocket again and obviously it takes so long to lose it it's never going to go back on overnight um but yeah I think in those weeks that you are increasing the steps there is a little bit of sort of I don't believe that the scales are gonna gonna be great still but they are and then they carry on like that so that kind of builds the trust in trust yeah. in the process and you do have to trust the process that's like I think that's fundamental is, you're building back trust in yourself aren't you as well that you can yeah. make good decisions you can be the one in control that food isn't yeah. the enemy that you can find a place of balance and it will be okay it's like relearning to trust yourself through that process yeah and and learning or, or trusting yourself that you can control that yeah. you know early on I'd have said no if I have one crisp that'll be it <laughs> that'll be it I'll be in a whole bag of Doritos and you know that takes time to say actually I can have a few and then I can say no and I, I am able to say no um but you kind of have to prove it to yourself yeah and I think you know all of these things are skills that we are able to learn and I think that we suddenly a lot of times we think that other people who are doing that out in the world we think that they've got some magic thing that we haven't got but actually it's just learning those skills and practicing them time and time again until they become second nature but we put so much expectation of perfection on ourselves that we almost don't give ourselves permission to learn those skills yeah 100% and learning takes failure too doesn't it yeah Um, and not even that it is a failure but you know just days where you think oh maybe I I probably shouldn't have had that or I probably you know I probably could have said no but you learn that along the way um and it yeah that's the beauty of the plan that you learn it's all a learning curve and and you're learning things that you can actually take away into the future you're not learning a you know different set of language or you know different way of measuring things or anything like that it's it's real stuff that you can take forward um in calculating your calories and all that stuff yeah it helps you you know realize how much protein you should be having what a portion <laughs> looks like how to calculate your calories how the traffic light system that appears on all the packaging works like all of those things are real world skills that enable you to create that new healthy balance later in life to keep that yeah. weight that you fought so hard to lose to keep it off for the longer term and find a weight that is sustainable for you for the longer term yeah yeah and sometimes you don't know what that is at the start either no um, we had a so- lot of conversations about that didn't we yeah so my goal weight originally would have been a I think a two stone loss or two and a half two or two and a half because I had no idea what that weight no. looked like I kind of knew what I wanted to look like but I didn't really know what the number on that was because for me the scale wasn't the most important measure I don't think it ever should be it's just a measurement of what you look like everyone can see yeah. what you look like <laughs> um So, yeah, it changed over time. I'd sort of got to that weight and I'd sort of say, well, maybe another half stone. Maybe that will be what what I want to look like. And then it turned into three and a half. But um, it's a happy weight. I'm sustaining it. Um, So, yeah, it's definitely the right place to be. Yeah. And I think in the beginning, it's hard to believe that you necessarily if we said that three and a half stone you probably would have said to me oh there's no way I can do that I don't even think I'm going to be able to lose the two stone yeah yeah 100 percent. that was like two stone was a dream yeah it was it was a total like I cannot even imagine um and you know you think about your clothes sizes and things like that but even those you know I was a, a very full size 14 I'd say but you know even a size 14 is there's one end of that scale and the top end of that scale isn't it so to say you lose however many dress sizes is 
Yes, and it very it much depends on every person, isn't shop. it? Yeah, which yeah. shop you go in, whether it's stretchy or a you know fitted yeah. thing. So yeah, none of the measurements kind of worked in my head really, other than just what I wanted to look like. Um, yeah, but... and I think it's good to know, like if you're starting out this journey, that you don't have to know exactly where you end up. You can set yeah. little mini goals along the way, which is actually means you're more likely to stay motivated because you're hitting them yeah. as we go along than worrying about the end result because you can just get way, way laid with that too much and it becomes overwhelming, doesn't it, sometimes? Totally. And I think to have many um, events that are goals along the way. So Christmas was like a really obvious one for me. That was six weeks. That was, I think six weeks goals are a nice yeah. length of time because you'll see a difference. You'll definitely get a weight loss that's um, good by then. Um, so, yeah, I had a few like that along the way, which broke it down. Because otherwise, four months or six months, eight months, however long your journey is going to be, can seem like a really long long yeah. time ahead um so yeah mini goals I definitely recommend and then you decided to also become a one-to-one diet consultant I um, did. talk a little bit about why you made the decision to kind of convert from just being a slimmer to also being a consultant yeah so I think I started thinking about this quite early on yeah. I don't think it, it <laughs> I think we've me... had a couple of chats about it yeah it didn't take me long to start thinking about it um so I suppose there's loads of reasons I love helping people that's my kind of day-to-day job anyway I've got a full-time job um so the the buzz I get from helping people achieve things whether it's weight loss or others yeah gives me a buzz so I just thought I, I, mean, I think we had a chat of like could I do this yeah. I, I think and I, I was do, like you I definitely do can <laughs> um, <laughs> and I just thought you know in today's like day and age and you know it's it's nice to have a side hustle I think for you know the income that it gives my family and also for you know just to have something else I think as a yeah. mum I was craving having something that was mine that I was in control of that was something that wasn't children wasn't work work um I know it is work but I never call this work (laughs) I just love it um so yeah I think all of those kind of combined I just thought you know what I'm absolutely loving the plan I knew a few people personally that I thought would be interested and and do it alongside me um so I just thought why not why not take the chance on it because if I hadn't taken the chance on the plan I wouldn't be you know as happy and healthy as I am so I just thought I'll do the same with being a consultant um, give it a whirl so, yeah give it a whirl what's the worst that could happen yeah and <laughs> I think that's the thing because the way um it works now when you come into the business it's basically you can come in for essentially what is 100 pounds and that buys mm. you stock so if you're doing the plan yeah. you're basically just buying yourself some products to last you anyway so you're not you're not just buying thin air you're actually getting something for your return and it's a fairly low investment so if it doesn't work out the worst that's happened is you've bought some products that you were going to eat anyway yeah totally which is exactly what I did um and my partner Mike um started plan with me um so he was my first client effectively uh straight away which is amazing for him obviously um but I also started just at the point when one-to-one started direct to dieter so it just worked seamlessly for me to not need to you know hold huge amounts of stock and have people come into my house and things like that I started from the off as a remote consultant um having products delivered directly to my clients from head office so that was perfect timing as well I probably wouldn't have jumped at it as much if that hadn't been on offer um but yeah I think that the system it. yeah the system's amazing isn't it like that it allows you to essentially start making money from the very first client very first yeah. order that walks through your door you don't have to have any stock it comes direct from head office you see them online you can have hours that suit you because you have another job and two small children and a partner yeah. to work everything around yeah. so 
this is something that has the flexibility that you're able to actually make some money on the side but keep all of all of the plates spinning at the same time yeah well I try a <laughs> few <You> drop occasionally <laughs> um but yeah I I fit it around evenings weekends um it doesn't also matter if we go away for the weekend or you know we're on holiday I can still carry on nobody is affected I can work remotely anywhere which is also really nice so yeah. it has just fitted straight in and it's you know grown a bit since I started at the start of the year and um still fits in so yeah so I think it's, it's been fantastic and you have grown so much as a consultant I'm very very proud of you as a as a, as a colleague as a team member um you're doing absolutely awesome and I think it is that thing of when you're doing well on the plan and you've had such good results you essentially end up selling that plan to your friends and family even if you don't become a consultant because you can't help tell other people or they want to know yeah. how did you lose the weight how have you done it and I remember you saying to me well I've got a couple of people interested I'm like well you might as well do it and make them your clients and see if it can work rather than giving them to me because they already want to do it they already know you <laughs> yeah yeah totally and I was quite surprised about that I don't think you were you <laughs> obviously um but yeah it, it was great and I do most of it you know through social media and stuff which again it's something else that's grown my confidence it's all things yeah. that I've enjoy doing um and yeah it's just fill, yeah. filled that little void that I think I didn't realize I had but and you're amazing at social media um which makes me chuckle a little bit because I remember when you first started you were like I don't know what I'm doing what do I post how does this work I don't understand and then you are the queen of reels you are so oh, good at them <laughs> I love them just effortlessly you're just like oh I just knocked it together and I think it's really very very good and I was like it's amazing what are you talking about it's awesome <laughs> it felt like such a dinosaur at the beginning <laughs> it's a but, lot isn't it when you I think you start any new business and you're kind of finding yeah. your feet with everything but the benefit of something like this um and joining a network marketing company is that a lot of that kind of overwhelm has is taken care of by a head office who are doing a lot of the work for us so we can do yeah. the enjoyable bit get to do the fun bits 100 yeah. percent. like so much of it is taken care of which you don't always see from the outside yeah. um but you know with the app with the ordering all of that is made super easy so yeah more time to make some reels and <laughs> scroll through <laughs> the music which really winds everyone up in my house not playing the music but you know you've got to choose the right song haven't you <laughs> you have uh, that's the bit that takes me the longest too and then whilst I'm editing the video the, the three second clip is just going round and round, and round. <laughs> yeah never to be listened to ever again it's put me off that song <laughs> who would have thought I'd be saying that six months down the line <laughs> and you are coming to this year's convention in November very first convention which is very exciting are you looking forward to it I'm very very excited um which again it was that sort of time of year wasn't it when yeah. I started to plan I think my first week you were sharing new products and you know all the outfits and everyone was gearing up to go and there was that like build-up excitement a little I think, bit of a buzz yeah week. yeah that was probably when I started thinking about it you were um, like, I, I, I like the look of that big party. I would like to go, please. <laughs> I'm keen on that. How do I get to go to convention? Um, so yeah, very excited. I should probably start thinking about outfits, really. But have you, you started thinking about outfits? No, but it won't be long before I start having the pre-convention meltdown about outfits. That that's coming down the track. I mean, if, <laughs> if that's just yeah. Of me just ordering clothes over clothes yeah. over clothes and trying them on on stories and on Instagram and going, no, no, not that one. <laughs> not the one. I can't wait for that. <laughs> so um, if you have not followed us for very long, uh, the One to One Diet every year in November has a big convention. It's called One to One Diet Live um, and we get new products and it's a whole day. And then there's a gala evening where we all get to dress up there are multiple outfits needed uh all consultants get together it's a huge celebration and it's lots and lots of fun um and it's always every november so this one will be abby's very first one 
yeah and it'll be a year since I started plan so huge celebration yeah it would be really really cool so I'm very excited very excited to meet more consultants as well um that would be really nice um and yeah Yeah, especially because you've been an online consultant predominantly yeah yeah 100 percent. i know there's regional meetings and stuff haven't got to those yet but um yeah so it'd be really nice especially because of instagram i follow so many other consultants um who are all amazing so it'd be really nice to bump into them i'll probably be like starstruck (laughs) well and also it feels weird to say this but we have never actually met in person oh my god we haven't I did know that, obviously. But yeah, but that it kind of didn't we, dawn on me because we just talk all the time. It kind of feels like I don't know. We just know each other, like that we would yeah. have met in person, but we we never have. Yeah, like I do know that. Yeah, but even talking about convention, I don't think of that. I think of no. Two- just been saying about meeting other consultants I haven't really met you it kind of come to me just then I'm the same I didn't think about it and then you were like me I'm consultant I was like I've actually never met Abby (laughs) oh it's gonna be a moment oh it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be so exciting I'm very much looking forward to it it's gonna be a massive celebration and I could not be happier that you decide um, to join the team um, you slotted right in you're an amazing consultant if you don't follow abby already she's on instagram do you know your instagram handle of the top of your head i'm gonna be the worst instagram in the world now um i i think i know it but you know like uh, i don't yeah, want to the say the wrong things. one no I, it... i'm looking i'm looking yeah, I'm not even make sure say we say the right loud. thing <laughs> so I say oh, the right one so that I will also put it in the notes down below and in the description box it is abby underscore one two the number two one diet um you will find abby on instagram she's absolutely awesome uh and she can be your consultant as we all can anywhere in the uk um and get products delivered directly to you so if you're thinking about plan check her out um Thank you so much for joining me this week, Abby, and filling in uh, Nell's shoes while she's away on holiday. It's been awesome to have you here. Thank you so much for having me and for saying such kind things. That's so nice. I've loved it. Loved having you as my sponsor and consultant. So thank you for having me. I hope I've filled Nell's shoes um, for a little while. Um, So yeah, it's been amazing to chat. It has indeed. Thank you so much for joining us this week again on the Losing It podcast. We will be back next week when Nell returns. Uh, Talking about something else next Monday, please subscribe, please comment, please like, please do all the things that you need to do uh, because it helps us greatly in spreading the word of more people finding us on here and getting the support they need. If you would like to start plan, our details are always in the description box below and we would love to hear from you. If you have any questions, we're happy to answer them and we'll see you next week. Goodbye.